What up guys, welcome to the Stud Muffins series to shredding. Today we got JPG here and he's gonna walk us through one of his favorite ways to meal prep for super cheap. You're telling me after you make this meal, it's only gonna cost about two to three bucks per meal, but you're just making a bulk? Yep, so cheap, quick, and easy. That's the theme of this meal. And the way he explained it to me, he was like, he likes to pack it with veggies so that you can feel full. And he has like a secret ingredient, which is the cauliflower rice, which isn't really rice, right? It's just like- Yeah, yeah just literally cauliflower. just broken down cauliflower, but it adds a lot of volume to your meal. Yeah, because when your yeah. calories are low and then you start getting really, really hungry and you eat one meal and you can't wait for the next meal, like you want something that sits in the stomach and feels full longer. Yeah. So I'm actually really excited to see what he puts together and how it's gonna taste. So what's the first step? So first step, just preparing the ingredients. So we're gonna do a quick little marinade on this chicken here. And then we're just gonna chop up our onions, mince up some garlic. And that's like the bulk of the prep work right there. Pretty easy. Oh yeah, we got the rice too. Oh, perfect, yeah. Day old rice, you said, right? Day old rice, but I mean, I've done this plenty of times with fresh cooked rice. It just might be a little bit more wet, a little more moist. So we got chicken breast that's already pre-sliced, which is very helpful if you're trying to save time. Um, do we need to slice it up even more or no? No, I think this will be good. Because they're almost yeah. like tenderloin size. That's okay. Yeah, it's perfect. Thank you. So if you're prepping, you probably don't want to use too much oil, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw in maybe a tablespoon or so, maybe a little bit less than that. And then I'm just going to eyeball it with the soy, just enough that most of the chicken breast is somewhat covered. And then we'll just mix it all in together. And then you can always go in with a little more seasoning later if you want to. So I'm just going to do this now, and then I'm going to go in and chop the garlic and the onion. And then while this is sitting in the soy sauce, get a little extra flavor. So you can let this sit overnight or just do a quick little 10, 15 minute marinade. I know it's very simple, but it already looks very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better than just, you know, plain chicken breast. So because I'm starving, like literally 99.9999999% of the time while I'm on this prep, like what I realized is um, my senses have been way heightened. Cause like, you know, when you're like so used to being able to just eat McDonald's whenever you want, eat at a restaurant whenever you want, like your taste buds are actually like constantly being stimulated and like almost like your receptor, your receptors are fully saturated. So now that I get so little stimulation, I feel like, um, like one of those like school boys at like a private Catholic school, right? And then all you need is to see like a girl's elbow. Just and a little like, shoulder. Oh, Oh. That's what they made the rule for. Yeah. Oh. And then just, <laughs> ankles? Yeah, so like even right now, like I'm just so used to just using the most basic, just garlic salt or like lorries, whatever. Seeing soy sauce, even though I have it, I see it, I'm like, oh shit! Put oil in there? Yeah. Damn, you got some good knife work, dude. See that three finger technique, oh. dude? Dude, you're pretty good. Thanks, man. So does that garlic go in the marinade too? So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna throw a couple of these uh, cloves in there. Yeah. Um, I'm big on garlic, so honestly, if I'm making this, like, I'll put a ton of garlic in there. I but, love garlic. All right, let's just put all this garlic in there. Hell yeah. I was going to save a little bit for the uh, stir fry, but... Is there anything I can cut while you're cutting that? Um, if you want to do, like, the onion. Is this, uh, like, recipe from any, like, I don't know, family tradition or any, like, rooted from anywhere? Or is just this is just quick and fast and you just throw stuff together? Uh, so my great-grandpa... Um, I think he looked this one up on Google and then I just copied it. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. No, but no, actually that's what happened. I just found some like Google recipe and then I just put my own little spins on it. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. Do I just cut like this, like onion rings? Um, I'm gonna cut it. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Just rings, that's okay. fine. If you want to just, yeah, cut it in half and then okay. just do like, yeah, perfect. Use this little pepper towel trick. So I don't get oh. all the fucking dust I've actually seeds. never seen that. I just learned something. I don't even know. If, I don't even know if it's real or not. I'm just gonna absorb it. I mean, a lot of it comes. It's a juicy lemon. Yeah, that should be good. See, it's pretty good. Perfect. And then you can squeeze out the pepper towel. <laughs> cool. Mixy mix. Let me see what other seasonings you got, actually, because I just like to throw random stuff in, like a yeah. little paprika, maybe. Oh, so you're like a you're like an artist chef, where you're like. What am I feeling? Yeah, like yeah I'll, get, I'll go smell the spices. What, what would go? 
What would go good with this smell right now? Well, we got <laughs> we got this whole thing over here. Nice. Come look, come look at these these spices, man. So we got white pepper. There's this. Uh, Do you add salt? Paprika, onion thing. Chili lime. Oh, this might be good actually. Onion powder. There's paprika. Oh yeah, paprika. I might throw a little bit of that in there. Black pepper. If we need something like that. This one's pretty good. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Yes. Yes. Let's put a little onion powder. And then a little paprika, give it some color. I like onions, so go a little heavier. Just a bit of that. And some of this chili lime. This probably has some salt in it, right? Yep. So not too much of this. Cool. Oh, it did resorb all the stuff. Yeah, it's all gone. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. All right, that's that's the hard part, honestly. Really? Okay, yeah. cool. That's it. Cool. So, let that sit for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put this on top at the end, a little bit of green onion, add some extra flavor. Flavor is key when you're on prep. High volume foods with a lot of flavor. So that way, you know, each meal hits. Yeah, low calorie flavor is what I'm always looking for mm -hmm. because obviously if you eat fried chicken, it's yeah. delicious, but you don't you even got have to track fat. that, you know? That's that's free flavor right there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. So we just need a little bit of oil. Let's do spray oil. Yeah? Yeah. So we're gonna tag team this. I'll hit the chicken, he'll hit the rice, and we're gonna put some of the spray on once it like heats up get, a little more. Get hot? Can I put stuff here? Oh, no, I won't get hot yet. All right, cool. You know what I'll make? I'll make two eggs. I'm gonna make one scrambled that's gonna go in with the rice, and I'll make one over easy. Pop that on top at the end. Cool. So one of these I'll leave as an over easy egg, and then this one I'll just like scramble up. Oh. So this one, is this going already? Almost. Yeah, you probably yeah. Yeah. You pop the chicken on there once it's hot. I like to leave the egg like 75% of the way, oh. not fully done. That yeah. way, once you put it in the rice, it finishes cooking the rest of the way and it's not super overcooked. Yeah, that's smart. I actually really like cooking on prep because it's yeah. like a space in between the meal, like before you eat again. So I'm yeah. just like, oh, this is adding time before my next meal. Yeah. So that way it's like, oh, less time of me actually eating. But then I and like- you get to kind of anticipate the yeah, meal exactly. too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get it. One thing I also like actually is, um, I'll actually get a good amount of steps in from cooking. Oh, really? Just, just from like around. moving, washing yeah. dishes. I sometimes if I cook like, um, like let's say I prep for like three or four days and I'm like uh -huh. actually doing a ton of movement, I'll hit a good easy 1,000, 2,000 steps in just doing that oh you were doing that with your uh, training too where you're like walking between all your sets yeah yeah versus yeah, if i like steps. if i just go to a restaurant and eat i'm actually um like losing out on a potential one to two thousand steps oh yeah so i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of oil now if you want to save some calories you can use a spray oil instead but just a little bit of oil It'd be like a teaspoon but also remember that spray, spray oil does have calories. If you look at it, I think it's like, what, like 0.1 of a second you're supposed to spray it? Yeah. <laughs> but then people will spray that thing for like 15 seconds. Like you just used like a teaspoon, tablespoon of oil just then. So. Yeah, per serving it says zero, yeah. but that's what you have to focus on is what the serving is. Oh, wait, 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 we're doing a little onion and garlic too. Almost forgot. You grab that. That lived dangerously. <laughs> you got double knives. Yeah. Oh, let's do all the onion just so a little more volume. Yeah, I really volume, like onion. Dude. Fuck it. Do you have sugar? Hmm? Do you have sugar? Yes. If you have the calories, I like to put a, a little bit of sugar on the onions. So that way they're like caramelized and a little sweet. So good. And then I'll hit it with a little bit of soy too. You got sugar right here. <laughs> Oreo. It's a sugar substitute. It's a low cal sugar substitute. What a bit pinch of soy. Of this. 
Yeah, it's looking into that. So this is maybe around a teaspoon. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, right? That looked like a teaspoon. I would say definitely the closer you are to your show date or your your um, goal date, like some people are trying to like get lean for a wedding or for a competition, you want to dial it in and be as specific and as objective as possible, right? Yeah, exactly. Because I mean, especially for something like bodybuilding where even like the slightest fluctuation of your water intake or sodium uh, can make a big difference in how you look. You really want to make sure that you're on point with your cooking. So making sure that you're getting it right with all the, you know, little things that add up throughout the day. So definitely track that sugar, track that oil, you know, a lot of things that people don't think about. And then eventually you might even start pulling them out, pulling the sugar out of the recipe, pulling yep. the oil out of the recipe. Yep. In those last, you know, four or so weeks when the calories are lower. I really like that approach. Like same meals, but just pulling things out as you go or reducing volume. Yeah. My favorite go-to, like one of my favorite seasonings is actually sesame oil, mm, but it's yeah. crazy. It's like, I mean, yeah, it's still an oil. So yeah, yeah the calories. I on think there. it's like one teaspoon or something. It's like yeah. 14 grams of fat. So that's the first thing I start pulling back. But even having been able to put a splash of it in something is still very, very flavorful. You know what I really like? The um, like chili oil with the uh, garlic. Oh, I love that. So good. My wife loves that too. She puts it on everything. Like her avocado toast, she'll put a little bit of that what? on there. What? Yeah. That sounds good. Now, this smells pretty good, actually. Don't sound too surprised, man. I cook a little bit. Let me not burn this. Or burn it a little bit, honestly. I could turn down the flavor. fire. Let me turn the fire. Oh, yeah. Turn the fire down a little we bit. We got a pretty strong stove here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. put it on like medium? Yeah. Uh, medium, medium halfway, yeah. yeah. That's what good. about this guy? Is this guy good? This is like uh, fajitas now. Oh yeah. <laughs> is this is this good right here? This chicken? Um. Oh, you want to cook a little bit more? Probably. Yeah, that, that's probably gonna be fine. Okay, I'll set it on the side. Yeah, if so anything, we'll like, chop it up or just leave it like this. No, we can leave it and just let it rest for a okay. bit. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, if you already have chicken prepared, typically what I'll do is like I'll throw the chicken in like with the onions and the garlic and stuff. Uh, and then when I throw the rice in, I'll throw that stuff to the side for a bit and mm. then put the rice down so that I can, you know, um, throw a little bit of soy sauce and stuff just on the rice. One of my favorite things to do, just looking at this recipe, like I love the $5 Costco chicken. So sometimes I'll get that and I'll eat half for one meal and then the other half I'll cut off and then I'll weigh it so I know what the macros are and then you can use that for this too. So that's like one of my favorite things because it's already pre-marinated, it tastes great, it's cheap. And that's what you're looking for when you're meal prepping, right? Like, what can I do? Like, what is something that I can cook now that lasts for a couple meals and it tastes really, really, really good while saving time? So, I'm gonna add the garlic. Just gonna hit it with a little more oil, right there. Mm-hmm. So th uh, that's uh, one part rice, three parts halani new. Shout out to Hayden and Katie. Nothing going in with that. the rice. In with the rice. Cool. Side. So I'm just gonna break it up and give it a little drizzle of this soy. Might be hard to. Yeah, just season to taste. So you can go in with a little more soy if you want, a little less. I feel like food always looks better when someone else is cooking. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so simple, right? It's just rice being tossed around with a little bit of spoiler sauce. And I was like, that looks mm. like it tastes good. <laughs> and you too can make this in Bart's kitchen. Just ask. So since this uh, cauliflower rice is a little bit frozen, yeah. I'm gonna put it in now if you have the non-frozen one, you can put it in close towards the end. But personally, I you could put this in when you're gonna put the soy in, treat it just like the rice. Um, but I kind of like the almost distinction of the two flavors. Oh, like, gotcha. So it doesn't just combine into one flavor? Yeah, I mean, some people like that just cause then it's like, oh, just more rice, but I don't think it matters either which way. 
So basically, we just doubled the volume of the food that we just had in here. And we added maybe, what, 40 calories, if that. Whereas if you added another cup of rice, that's oh, okay. another, you know. 100 something probably. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like, uh, I think I like about a cup of cooked rice is almost like 300 calories. Dude, so even like half, that's like 150. Mix those onions in. Dude, as soon as you mix Ooh. the onions in, it starts to look like a, a real meal. Yeah. Ooh. Now wait till that, wait till that egg goes in there. Oh, oh. my. Looks good. We're live? Yep. Live and direct. So basically what I'm doing now, I'm just gonna set that to the side, take it off the heat. I'm and... gonna eat the onion garlic soy sauce rice. Hmm? Tastes really good, actually. I'm going in with the veggies. Is there a limit to this, or you can technically put as much veggies as you want? Yeah, as much as you need to fill your macros or, you know, want to do. Feel full. Yeah, exactly. Like, you could have a two-to-one veggie-to-rice <laughs> ratio if you really wanted. So it's just up to kind of taste, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably put the fire up a little bit, yeah. And then I'll just hit this with like a little more soy. That's about it. <laughs> Everything just hits it with a little, <laughs> a little more soy, a little more flavor, seasoning, flavor. Yeah, Asian soy. If you're cooking and you're Asian, just Free add more flavor. soy. Yeah, just put soy in. And if you're not Asian, you want more Asian, just throw soy and then... If we had fish sauce, I'd put a little bit of fish sauce in here too. A little splash. No, I'm a bad Asian. I don't have bad. fish sauce. I just thought he would have it. I, I thought I would too. I have. Splash He's got stuff. the most, he has the most random Asian spices though. Otherwise, like you have like star anise in there too. Like, have French vanilla, yeah. sugar free. We're gonna add a splash of that. Free flavor, guys. Yeah. Vanilla and soy sauce just goes together like. It does. It's perfect. Now you just mix it in. Mmm. And it's gonna look even more like food now. Mmm. Calories. So we got the, um, Scrambled egg in here. I'm just chopping it up nice and fine. Uh, and then we're going to throw that in. So, I mean, we probably could have actually done two scrambled eggs just for the amount Size of, food. of it. Yeah. yeah, that's in here. <laughs> Once I added the cauliflower rice, I was like, I don't know if this egg's going to be enough, but also, also it depends gonna... on what your fats are at, too. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So for Cause... somebody who has lower fats, you, you might not even be able to do an egg. Yeah. So sometimes my fried rice, I'll just throw in just egg whites because I can't. I literally can't yep. afford it. That's any another more. great way to get more volume in. Right. Yeah. Like uh, if I do a kimchi fried rice, sometimes it'll literally be like yeah. deli ham because it's so low in fat. And then I'll do Boy, egg whites, yeah. like deli ham. Pretty much done. Really? Yeah. You sure? Okay, but finish now. I just want to let you know, like this is, that's it, oh, pretty much. Okay, so I'll do deli ham, egg whites, um, some turkey bacon, and some chicken breast. That just sounds good. Super low fat yeah. meat. This turkey bacon's really great. I'll eat like a whole pack of turkey bacon. It's yeah. so low. Right. And if you find the right brand, it'll be like, two, three protein to fat so, ratio. So, since we cooked the chicken on the side, at this point, now you can literally just, I don't know, just go for it, lay the yep. chicken on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, la la. And now you've literally got two, three meals here. Maybe four, depending on the average person. Depending on your protein requirements, yeah. right? Yeah. Depending on how much you can actually eat throughout the day. But me personally, I would literally eat this in like a sitting. Um, not all this chicken, but like all that rice and cauliflower. Yeah. So we'll run with that. If I had to guesstimate, I think this is almost 150 grams of protein. Because I think we got a little bit over a pound of chicken breast. Well, so if you divide top. it into thirds, that's three meals, 50 grams of protein each. With, if I had to ballpark it, under 10 grams of fat each. Considering the olive oil, the egg yolks. But the soy is generally fat free. Ooh, look at that garnish. Ooh. This looks like a real meal, dude. That looks like good. We, like we really cooked something just now. We did just cook something. That's crazy. So th here we have it. I'm gonna do a taste test. You gonna do a taste test? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Get, get the heck out of there. Oh my get Jesus. That. You get that. That's pure food sex. Mm -hmm. I don't actually don't even care about the protein for this one. Cause I was just watching you mix all the gar garlic and onions and everything. Turn a little bit of the yolk. Cheers. cheers. A little bit of everything. Cheers. I need a little veg in there. Oh, nice. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can only. I can also totally tell why you said fish sauce now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
It gives that a little bit of a hit. Yeah, it would have, mm -hmm. if it had fish sauce in this, I think it would be like, oh shit, you can serve this at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Like really good. Yeah. I also like, if you like spice, get some peppers, throw it in there too. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's good though. Came out really good. So yeah, if you want to recreate this meal, got rice, uh, cauliflower rice, which is actually just cauliflower, stir fried veggies, both you get in the frozen section, so it's easy, fast. And then we got uh, chicken breast, keep that super lean. Get through in two eggs, you can do three or four, or only egg whites, depending on where your fat is. So it's extremely adjustable. And you make this thing, and you can cut it into probably fourths even, and you can make four meals out of this. And you have a pretty low calorie, high protein, low fat meal. What do you call this, JP? Bodybuilder stir fry. The JP Bodybuilder stir fry. Thank you for watching the Stud Muffins series to shredding as we're giving you all the different tips from recipe, training. Next couple episodes, we're actually gonna be posing. So follow us along our bodybuilding journey. See you guys in the next episode.